Happy Thursday, everyone. We've made it. We're almost to Friday. And I hope you've had a good week so far. I hope everything is going okay. And remember, if things are not going okay and life is really, really hard right now and you're struggling and you feel like you just don't know if you're gonna be able to make it or you feel like you have no one in your corner and you feel all alone, you're not alone. You're never alone. There's always a God there who's willing to help. And he is consistent. He has never changed from the beginning. It's people who change. So if people are untrustworthy, and I don't know if you believe in God or not, but if everyone in your life has let you down, why not give God a shot? Pick up a Bible, read it. There's promises. You can Google biblical promises and anyone can find a relationship with Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior and then talk to God if they want to. Society and churches have given Jesus and God a bad name whenever they judge others. But there's Bible verses that prove that God and Jesus meet you where you are at regardless of what's happening in your life, regardless of your past mistakes, regardless if you're not a perfect person, Jesus actually meets you when you're imperfect. If you look in the Bible, he hung out with the imperfect people who needed saving. He actually did not hang out with the Sadducees and the Pharisees. And if you don't know what they are, they're like Joel Olstein and his followers. They're the fake Christians. They're the mega church face Christians. Any pastor that preaches prosperity and abundance solely from being a Christian is a fake and a fraud. The Bible actually guarantees once you step into a relationship with Jesus Christ, you are guaranteed to go through trials and tribulations. But God is with you the whole time. At least you're not alone. So life may be hard and when you turn to God, you may have different trials and struggles, but God will get you through your financial struggles, your depression, your anxiety, your social anxiety, and when people are being mean to you, God is love. God is always love. And he teaches you, if you follow his principles, he is a loving God. Now, if you go against other Christians and are mean, that's when God is a vengeful God because he defends his children. And everyone has a right to accept Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior and become a child of God. But that's the only way to get to God through prayer is through Jesus Christ. And you know what? Some people don't like that. Some people don't like the truth because they're living in sin and they don't want to change. They want to go after the desires of their flesh. They want to run after endless amounts of money and just work, work, work to get more money as if that's what makes them happy. But if you notice... When you buy something, it might make you happy for a few seconds, but then you wanna buy something else. God's love is eternal and everlasting, and true joy only comes from the Lord. Happiness comes from your circumstances. So, if you're down and out, why not give God a try and ignore the people who say they're Christians but judge others because they have it wrong. So don't take God in a negative light because of people. Read the Bible for yourself and use your own discernment. Even when I go to church, I listen and normally it's about 50 to 60% of what the pastor says is 100% accurate. But even pastors are human and make mistakes and misinterpret the Bible. So... You do you, and I hope you have a good day. Happy Thursday. I love you, but God loves you more, and I hope you have a wonderful day. And remember, even if you decide not to go with God, you got this. No matter what life throws at you, it's going to be okay. Even if you're alone, it's going to be okay because you're strong and you're magnificent and you're beautifully and wonderfully made. I hope you have a wonderful day. Everyone is 100% equal. So don't let anyone make you feel like you're not good enough or they're better than you.
because that's just them projecting and they're probably even more insecure than you could ever imagine. That's why they project on others and pretend to be better and put them down. So be bold, be strong, be courageous. You got this.